My name is Chuck Saban. I'm the Senior Director for Market Development for the Bluetooth Special Interest Group. And we're here at HearTech uh, 2023 at an audiologist conference in Seattle. I'm Kayla Mirhau. I am a senior product marketing manager on the market development and research team at the Bluetooth Special Interest Group. And today, uh, here we are doing AuraCast demos to showcase our new audio broadcasting technology from the Bluetooth SIG. I am curious what audiologists have said as they visited and experienced AuraCast for the first time. What Great question. When should we expect to see this on the market from hearing aid manufacturers? So we've had a, we've had a tremendous amount of, of uh, a positive response from the audiology community. Uh, the majority of the responses have been when. You know, when is this going to be available? Because this is exactly what my customers, the people I interact with, are looking for. This availability of audio in these public spaces uh, directly into their uh, into their hearing aids or cochlear implants. The second thing I'm hearing from audiologists is my patients are regularly asking me for additional Bluetooth functionality and integration with the world around them. There's not a lot out there on the market. What's coming? How can AuraCast help with that? Hi, my name is Henry Wong. I'm the senior manager for market development at the Bluetooth SIG. I work with member companies to drive uh, the latest Bluetooth technology in the market. Orcast is based upon the new LE audio architecture. You know, we're trying to educate the audiologists that this is a brand new technology. It's different from the tra traditional classic Bluetooth audio um, with new features such as uh, hearing aid and top ability, lower power consumption, better audio quality, and the broadcast. What is a really interesting use case for Orcast? Well, I think a really interesting case is multi-language support in places where people convene from different backgrounds, different languages, and you can send out parallel streams with the information in any language, and you can pick the language using your phone or some other means and say, I want to hear it in French, I want to hear it in Spanish, or whatever. All of that can go out in parallel, and it will be a great service for a lot of people where you usually have to put up sign posts or whatever. That, I think, is going to be a major potential of this technology. So one of my particularly favorite applications is actually just the, the availability of audio in public spaces where hearing is difficult. So think about uh, public address systems in uh, uh, transportation hubs, whether or not it's an airport or a train station, and you're trying to listen to the announcements in the background. I want to be able to hear those and understand those. And AuraCast provides that capability for PA announcements uh, to be able to be heard through my listening device. Uh, and so I can stay in tune and, and, and track on where I need to go. So I'm Sherry Perzoli and I wear many hats with the Hearing Loss Association. I think uh, our cats can be really, really helpful in transportation hubs, um, airports, and the, to the gate, the ticket counter, the gate, um, pharmacy counters, places where you have uh, the need to have clear information needs to be exchanged on both sides. You know, there's a lot of uh, opportunity for assistive listening systems in the in the market, you know, providing technology for people to hear better in the places that they go. And AuraCast is a part of that uh, is a part of that ecosystem. And it will work with other technologies or work alongside other technologies. So in the end it becomes the user choice as well as the user application as to which technology is best for them at that period, that particular point in time.